forensic psychiatry is not forensic psychology. So talk about that a little bit. Yes, absolutely. And I think before I went to medical school, I, I might have been unclear about the exact difference as well. So I know that a, a lot of people confuse psychiatry and psychology, much less uh, forensic psychiatry and psychology. Psychiatry is a branch of, of medical science. So a psychiatrist like me has gone to, in America, undergrad for four years, and then medical school for four years, and then done psychiatric training, an internship, a residency, which is four years more if you're subspecializing in something else, and then a fellowship in forensic psychiatry, which is a year in the U.S. And so during that time, we're in medical school, learning to be psychiatrists in, in medical school, we're taking the same courses and doing the same practical experiences in the hospital as someone going into internal medicine, as someone going into surgery. And then the, the residency, you're working as a resident doctor in, in the hospital, except you're focused on psychiatry, a bit of neurology, a bit of internal medicine um, and family medicine. So we have that background as well. I would think of our training as more similar to uh, what you would see in that Gray's Anatomy as far as the, the residency and learning from the, the attending physicians prior to, to becoming an attending physician oneself. And there's very um, structured length of time that things take. So it's a four-year residency longer if you're doing child psychiatry or adding on geriatric psychiatry or addiction psychiatry. And then a forensic psychiatry fellowship is, is one year after the residency as well. And so it is a bunch of time that it takes to do it. An example that I like to give of what is psychiatry versus psychology, the background I have, Fraser Crane's apartment, Fraser Crane and his brother Niles Crane were um, psychiatrists in fiction on television, and they were medical doctors who became psychiatrists. 